안녕하세요. 제 이름은 나미입니다. Hi, it's Nami, and today I'm finally talking to you about the three products that my oh my gosh, I'm so shiny, Dad. This is not okay. The three products that my dermatologist recommended me that literally cleared my skin. I am wearing a bit of makeup right now. But let me just talk briefly about the products and then I'll go and show you what I actually do for my skincare routine. The first thing is he told me to use a really gentle cleanser. This one is Spectro Gel. It's for sensitive skin that is blemish prone. That's me. Sensitive but acne prone skin. This product I believe is only available in retail stores in Canada, but I believe you can get it online as well. It is recommended by dermatologists and it's so super gentle. You have to follow the instructions though, which is that your face is wet or damp and you wash your face with this for 30 seconds. So I usually sing happy birthday twice. In high school when I was using this product as well, I was singing happy birthday to Jesus twice. And then you just rinse it off. It's literally so gentle. It's a gel type cleanser. It's my favorite cleanser, like my favorite, favorite, favorite. And my dermatologist also recommended me this Sarah V lotion this is also developed with dermatologists so i think that's something you should look out for if you are looking to improve your skin is looking for products that are actually recommended and developed by doctors who specialize in skincare and skin health this one's also very gentle and it's literally so basic because for skincare if you get really complex about it then it could end up clogging your pores, it could end up over drying your skin, it could end up like doing things to it that you don't need as much as your skin actually healing itself. So this is non-comedogenic and non-irritating. Non-comedogenic means that it's not going to create comedomes, which are basically like whiteheads, clogged pores. And the last product is this topical gel prescription cream. Valiant, I think, is the company that makes this product it's not really a product it's a prescription medication for your acne and the specific one is called by I've been calling this Bianca for the longest time but my dermatologist corrected me and said it's pronounced by for like bye acne like goodbye good rinse never see you again in my life and clinda missin phosphate I believe is an antibiotic so this 1.2% of that medication will help with the bacteria that's actually in your pores and causing the acne and inflaming your pores and attacking your skin. And then the tretinoin is a type of chemical exfoliant, I believe. There's 0.025% in here. That helps get rid of your dead skin cells. It helps exfoliate your skin to make sure that your skin is nice and clear so there's nothing clogging your pores or there's nothing helping the bacteria to grow. I'll explain a little bit later how I use this and when I use it, but this is literally still my first tube since April. It's already September and I have five refills on this that my dermatologist gave me, but it, I'm still on my first tube. Like I barely use this stuff, but it's like amazing. I did add three more products to my skincare routine just to target some other concerns that I have. For example, my makeup removal. So like I do wear eye makeup and face makeup occasionally like i say like half of the week i'm wearing makeup or less than that but at least once a week i'm wearing makeup and you do want to make sure that you're cleansing your skin and removing as much product off your face as you can when you do your skincare so i usually use the CeraVe micellar water again it's developed with dermatologists and basically micellar water is like a cleansing water you don't have to wash it off but it can remove makeup and cleanse your face I recommend washing it off if you are using it to remove your makeup, but sometimes I use this just to cleanse my face if I don't have any makeup on, just to remove the oil and the dirt off of my face. It does say that it has vitamins and it's not comedogenic, so it won't clog your pores, and it has um, hyaluronic acid, which helps retain the skin's natural moisture, so you don't have to wash it off, but I usually do if I am wearing makeup so that like I can get a deeper cleanse. So I just kind of shake it once, put it on my cotton pad. <gasps> and I just use it to remove my makeup. And I do avoid the eye area with this product. 
because I find that my eyes do sting a bit with this micellar water. I basically use this to remove the bulk of my makeup. Ta da! And I use this cleansing oil from New Body. I use it as a makeup remover for my eyes. So I just take two cotton pads, I put this on one side, remove my eye makeup. If I'm wearing eyeshadow that day, I usually will use a pad instead of just Q-tips. And then I flip it over to the clean ends just to remove the product a bit more and any excess makeup. And usually at the sink, I'll wet my face with my water and rinse off some of this product. I take my cleanser, my trusty spectro gel. I got this big size, it's like literally the size of my face. I take one whole pump of this and I sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. If you don't wash your neck, you might find more aging on your neck. Like I've already got some lines on my neck because I didn't grow up washing my neck. So I highly recommend that you wash your neck as well and moisturize that area. And if you can, like your decollete area as well. I just rinse this off. I usually don't use a washcloth. I usually just use my fingers and hands to wash off my products. But because I'm on the couch, I can't just have water spraying everywhere. Also, another thing that works, I learned from Haley, one of my mutuals on Instagram, is not to dry your face with a towel. I used to pat dry my face to prevent wrinkling because dragging a towel across your face is not very good for your skin. But as of recently, I've been trying to air dry my face because this helps to further tighten your pores, but also prevent anything from on the towel getting onto your face. So I just kind of fan myself. And then I go in with my Costco Kirkland brand eye serum. It's basically just an eye cream on my ring finger. Just take a tiny bit for both my eyes and place it in dabbing motions right underneath to hydrate. And then the excess I'll go over my eyes. Not my lips. The skin on your lips is similar to the skin under your eyes. Both are very sensitive and wrinkle easily. So I like to just put the excess on my lips. And then I'll go in with my moisturizer. I literally just put this on my face. It's not really anything special. Behind your ears and down your neck. If you've cleansed that area. Helps maintain a youthful appearance. My dermatologist told me to wait 10 minutes before applying this so that everything on your face can kind of absorb. Your skin can drink the moisturizer first before you go and place the medication. So when my phone wasn't broken, what I would do is play Superstar BTS or like find something to do during that time before I go and place my medication. So I'll be back in 10. I'm back with another white top. It's our merch sweatshirt. I'll have the link below. I'm gonna put my final buy acne on my skin. Basically, you're supposed to put a pea-sized amount all over the area that's affected. I used to put this on my back as well, but I don't get as much on my back now. I probably should still put it on my back, but for my face, I kind of go in sections. So I just take a bit, put it on one section on my face, take another little bit, put it on another section. I do find that this medication does enlarge my pores around my nose and the sides of my nose. I guess it's like a small sacrifice to make for clear skin is to have super enlarged pores. So I have to go in and like forcefully insert foundation into my enlarged pores or else I have these like obvious dots on my nose where the foundation hasn't hit. And my acupuncturist says that any kind of antibiotics is not good for your system, especially for myself, I have a lot of issues with my digestive tract. Antibiotics have really ruined that over the years, but I couldn't take it anymore. Like if you see photos of my acne, I needed to see a dermatologist and get medication. Like it was just really bad. I have this new pimple 
Do you see it? It's right here. So I'm gonna put an, an extra little layer right there to help combat that overnight. That's what my dermatologist has recommended me since April. I feel like having acne has been really terrible for me, but also really good. I really was able to find myself and also be humbled in that way and have more empathy for people who suffer through acne and also through other conditions. And it also helped me as a makeup artist as well just to practice on my face. I think my makeup knowledge would definitely be a little bit more limited if I myself hadn't been through such severe acne. My skin is doing so much better now and I am making an effort to make sure that my food and sleep are also being healthy so it's not just covered by medication because the essence of acne is basically a sign telling you that something's wrong with your body. Really sleep, hydration, drinking lots of water, eating nutritious foods, and exercise is all the basis of having a good health and that will be reflected in your skin. I think my body has been suffering for like way too long since I was a child in terms of my digestive issues. I don't know, would my skin ever be okay without this medication? When I first started this medication, after a few times of not using it, I would see breakouts again, but as I keep using it and as my skin becomes accustomed to this gentle cleansing method and is able to sustain and rehydrate itself and take care of itself on its own, I guess I've been able to go longer without this medication as well. So I feel like now I use it like once or twice a week compared to every night. And after you sleep, you're supposed to wake up and wash it off and apply it again at night. If you do have a lot of acne, I do recommend you to see a practitioner on it. Eastern medicine could be Western medicine, but to see someone I feel like would really help because it's a real like medical condition. Like our Canadian government and our Ontario healthcare in the area that I live in does cover acne treatments in the healthcare program. So I didn't have to pay to see my dermatologist. I just got a referral from my family doctor and they do have well-trained health practitioners basically specialized in this field. So my biggest suggestion to anyone who's struggling with acne other than, you know, eat well, sleep well, exercise, drink lots of water, and other than see a professional for your acne is also to drop a lot of the harsh products that you use on your face. Try to go as natural as possible and as organic as possible, as gentle as possible and as moisturizing as possible. And really that's what your skin needs to help reprocess itself. I can't believe like now I can go out with just literally no makeup and feel like I'm not doing a great sin to every single person who lays eyes on my face in public. I think along with me feeling terrible about how my skin looked, was also like me feeling terrible for everyone who had to witness my face. You know what I mean? Even if you are struggling with acne, I know it's such a huge, like it's such a huge barrier to like everything. Like you feel like that's you. But I talked about this before in my acne scarring video where I talk about like scars and derma rolling too. I think getting back my clear skin after such severe acne, like I really realized like that wasn't me. Like when I look at pictures and videos of me with acne, I'm like, wow, like I look like that. And I remember how I felt at the time. I just felt like I'm just an ugly person. But after my skin cleared up a bit, like I actually looked in the mirror and saw myself better. And I actually told myself like, wow, I'm actually not that ugly like I'm I'm kind of pretty like I think at that moment I realized like so many people <laughs> I'm crying again Michael <laughs> have strength yeah. your acne is seriously not you I would say the same to like like mental health too like those are health issues mm -hmm. you are made beautiful and it'll be okay I was there and I'm often still there but Whatever it is, you're there behind all of that. Whatever it is, you're beautiful and you're so worth it. You're so worthy and I love you. And I don't know why I'm crying when I'm talking about my skin, but 
I'm like always crying. I hope this video was helpful to you. I feel like it was a huge thing for me to actually look in the mirror and feel like after five years of acne, like severe acne, like, oh, I actually can be pretty, even just a little. Please let me know what other videos you'd like to see. And if you did enjoy this one, definitely make sure to subscribe and click the bell notification for new updates. I post new stories every day on my Instagram, so I'll check you out on these other platforms and I'll see you next time. Bye.